Hey guys, how are you? So what's the dealio on liposuction versus tummy tuck? Here's the deal. Liposuction only removes fat by using a cannula. So it's a tiny little incision, I remove the fat, but then I gotta give the skin the chance to retract back. And how well will it retract is variable and everyone's skin, genetics, physiology is very different. Some people retract back amazing. Others don't retract back so well. So liposuction works amazingly well to recontour, reshape your body, but it does nothing for the skin. It's mainly removing and reshaping fat. Now a tummy tuck on the other hand, that involves a scar that usually goes from hip to hip. In some people it needs to go farther back. In some people it can be a little bit shorter. And in others it needs to go all the way around. It just depends on how much overhang of the skin, how much looseness of the skin, and how much droopiness you have of the hoochie wanuchi. So the tummy tuck involves a big scar hidden in the bikini. I pull the skin down, I lift up the hoochie wanuchi, I tighten the muscles up, and we make a new belly button. So those are two very, very different procedures. Now, here's the problem. Some people are clearly liposuction only candidates. You're like, there is no way I'm ever gonna do that. All I gotta do is liposuction. But then there are some people that are clearly a tummy tuck. I mean, if you just did liposuction, you're gonna have wrinkled skin, loose skin, divots, irregularities, overhanging skin, a pubis that overhangs. I mean, it just will not look good at all. If you're somebody who's saying, listen, I just wanna look good in clothes, take away as much fat as you can, I don't care about the skin, Okay, you could try doing lipo only, but if you're really trying to look good for the boat and uh, you're trying to look good in clothes and out of clothes and in a bikini and in the poolside, then in those cases, you've got to do a tummy tuck. However, there are some people that fall in between, that when you see one surgeon, he'll tell you one thing, and when you go see another surgeon, he tells you another. And there's clearly people that could go either way. In those particular cases, what I tell you is, you know what, maybe, we could start off with liposuction if you're really afraid of the scar and we see how the skin retracts. Now there's new technology that's helping me get that skin to retract and gives it a little bit more of an oomph. It's like liposuction on steroids. The technology is called J Plasma. J as in John, Plasma. Look it up on YouTube. It's like a laser that helps that skin tighten up. So if you do need a tummy tuck and you're opting not to do it, I definitely recommend the J Plasma. Look it up, J Plasma on YouTube, J as in John. Now, just because you use the J Plasma doesn't mean that you're not gonna need a tummy tuck later on, but what it's doing, it's trying to maximize your potentials of trying to avoid that tummy tuck. There are other patients that'll say to me, you know what, that's two surgeries. I don't wanna do that. I just wanna get it over with. I don't mind the scar. Let's just do the tummy tuck with liposuction of my waist. And listen, by the way, while you're there, can you transfer some of that fat to my butt? And I go, absolutely. So we could definitely do the tummy tuck. So it just depends on your philosophy, not falafel, your philosophy. So what I'm trying to say is that you either decide on liposuction only, understanding that your skin may not retract back well, and you're gonna need a tummy tuck later on. Usually you wait about six months before you do the tummy tuck, or you say, uh, -uh I ain't risking it. I don't gamble. I'm gonna go ahead and just do the tummy tuck lipo and fat grafting. And that's certainly an option that you can do. So those are your two options. I'm gonna have to let you decide because I need you to tell me what is your preference and what are your fears and your concerns. The liposuction, if I do fat grafting to the buttock, is about two hours. The tummy tuck, if I do liposuction and fat grafting, it's about three hours. If I have to do an extended tummy tuck, that's where I go a little bit farther back, it might take me three and a half to four hours. So those are the two options. What I want you to do is think about it, debate it in your mind, talk it over with your loved one, have a pillow talk, and then what you can do is you can call us back, talk to your coordinator, and she'll be able to answer every question you've got, like, okay, Colleen, I'm ready, or okay, Marisol, or whoever your coordinator is gonna be, I'm ready to move forward, what do I do? And then they'll give you pricing, scheduling, financing if you want to, how long to stay here for, where to stay if you're coming from out of town. They'll tell you about medical clearances because safety is our most important thing. So we make sure that at least three people say yes to your surgery. That's gotta be me, my anesthesia provider, and then finally the medical clearance doctor that you need to get. So we look forward to hearing from you and I look forward to meeting you. Stay safe. Liposuction versus tummy tuck. Liposuction helps you with removing and reshaping the fat. 
The procedure leaves no scar. After liposuction, the skin might be sagging. Tummy tuck helps with removing the fat, pull the skin down, and tighten the muscles up. It leaves a big scar hidden in the bikini area. Tummy tuck can remove the skin sagging. Also, there is a magic wand called J-plasma. It can minimize skin sagging and the need for a second surgery. 